Hello everybody, this is Laddie the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud. This is a special episode explaining what happens in the after game. Because you'll notice that we got a new land added to the world map. Now, instead of playing this on my second file like I normally would for my Let's Play, I'm actually going on my first file because I've already completed the after game and I have access to the special item there. Because, well, here's basically my weapon setup. Chronicle Sword plus 9, Angel Gear plus 10, Inferno plus 13. I've basically gone through this entire dungeon. And believe me, it is not fun going through this entire dungeon. You want to have as many items as you possibly can. I actually 100% completed the game on this one. I actually found that spare pocket in this game file. I couldn't find it in the last one for whatever reason. So... Yeah, here's my item setup. You notice I have a lot of auto repair powder and no actual repair powder. You also notice that my active items are a bit different as well. Um, that is because um, this is a level known as the Demon Shaft. And I'm going to be showing what's at the end of the Demon Shaft because when you go up, Look how many floors there are. There are 100 floors in this dungeon. It would take me forever and a half to record every single one of these like I would like a normal dungeon. So what I'm going to do is instead of actually recording it floor by floor, I'm just playing this on my first file where I've already completed it and go to the top floor when the boss waits for us. Black Knight Pendragon. Theoretically, he's supposed to be the hardest boss in the game, even though really he's cake compared to Messiah. Now, what you want to do immediately is uh, switch to Ozma, but actually I want to show something really quirky first. You know uh, how I have Zhao with two ultimate weapons when I have the Angel Gear and Super Steve? Equip Super Steve when you fight this guy, you'll get a few interesting tidbits of information. You want to stay on the move, though. Wait for it. That doesn't look like a, that doesn't look like a horse. Maybe Zhao's master knew him. That is implying that Toei knows who Black Knight Pendragon is. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to show. Now, for this fight, you want to switch to Osman first thing. Main reason is, this guy charges. And the thing with Osman that the other ranged characters don't have is he can run and gun. So, what you want to do is give him a stamina drink. And fire away! <laughs> stands still and tosses his little uh, circular sword beams as you saw when I was weaving around in the shower. He was throwing rings at me. So. It usually takes about five stamina drinks on Osman to bring this guy down. Oh. 
switch to Toman for this part. This part is why you need auto repair powders. If he blocks your swing, it can do up to 30 H uh, weapon HP of damage, depending on your durability. So, you really need to be careful. Now, if you constantly just hold the charge, get close to him, he does a 1-2 slice that will always miss if you do the uh, charge attack. Now, if you keep moving, that thing will barely miss you. If you stop leaving a second, we're going to get hit. Close. And... However, if you get too close to him and try moving to the side, it won't work, but...
Chronicle 2. Now this weapon is the secret item of the game that you get for beating Black Knight Pendragon. Already has close to maxed out stats. 50 of all elements and 50 of all antis. So it also has five slots, so essentially this makes it the ultimate weapon. However, it works just like every other weapon. If it breaks, it's gone. So you have to be really careful with it. However, I'm not going to use it, because once you fight Black Knight Pendragon, you can't fight him again if you save. So I never use this sword anyway. Plus, comparing stats, yeah, it's a little bit better. But my Chronicle Sword has had more, you know, fighting time, plus it has a higher magic, so attribute base damage does a little bit more, so. That's why I use my Chronicle Sword instead of the Chronicle 2. Although the Chronicle 2 is pretty powerful. I've been I've gotten really close to one shot in the Dark Genie with it, but. That's basically that. Uh, this is the last part of Let's Play Dark Cloud. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.